Three white men who murdered Ahmed Arbery in the U.S. state of Georgia are given life sentences. The family said they never lost faith in justice. I knew that we would come out with a victory. Yes. I never doubted it. And I knew that today would come. The U.S. questions Kazakhstan's decision to invite in Russian troops to quell unrest, saying it might be difficult to get them to leave. The U.S. Supreme Court has begun hearing arguments about the legality of President Biden's vaccine or testing rules for large businesses. Opponents say he does not have the authority to impose the rule without going through Congress. Backers say it will save lives. Judgment is not expected for several days. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg says Russia is continuing its military build-up near Ukraine, posing a real risk of a new armed conflict in Europe. Mr Stoltenberg repeated that NATO remains ready to talk to Russia, but warned the Allies would impose a heavy price for any further Russian aggression. India has imposed a weekend-long lockdown in Delhi to try to slow the spread of coronavirus. Restaurants, markets and most shops will be closed until Monday morning, with people only allowed to leave their homes for essential trips. Austria's Chancellor Karl Nehmauer has tested a positive for coronavirus. The 49-year-old, who took over as Chancellor a month ago, is in self-isolation and says he isn't showing any symptoms. In a statement issued through his spokesman, he said, there is no need to worry, I'm fine and doing well.